Two teenagers run over by a car in Cleveland remain in a Houston hospital tonight. This all happened while the students were leaving, leaving Cleveland High School yesterday to go to a strip mall right across the street. Fox 26's Matthew Cedo reports on where the investigation stands tonight in Liberty County. The two teens had just finished eating in this shopping center. They've been trying to cross this street. It was dark, just like this. And then in the middle of the roadway, they were hit by a pickup truck in this crosswalk. Two teenagers hit by a pickup truck crossing the street next to Cleveland High School. I feel our kids' safety should be the number one priority. Tashima Garrison had just served the 14 and 16 year old students' food at Fishtails. While walking back to the school Monday evening, they were hit by a man driving this pickup truck while in a crosswalk. I just feel bad because they were here and they left here and crossed the street. But I tell them all the time, please be careful, please be careful because drivers don't pay attention. Too many distractions. It's very busy, very congestive. We have a walkway there and then we have another crossover down by the light. The speed limit on Highway 321 is 45 miles per hour. A road full of cars, tractor trailers, and buses. It's pretty scary and, and it's lots of concerns of all the kids that walk that area. We try to warn on our citizens about the awareness of these students that are walking along the edge of the roads. Let's see how long it takes for us to actually be able to cross this street. So this car, this car is stopping. This truck is not stopping though. <laughs> About a minute. Imagine doing that in the dark. Are they supposed to be stopping? Well, pedestrians do have a lot of right-of-ways. If there is a signal light, yes, but and they are supposed to control their speed. We've hired more police officers and we've hired more safety monitors. But of course, that, that is during the school day. The injured teens now stable after being airlifted to a Houston hospital. The driver arrested for suspected drunk driving. Some people now demanding more action to prevent another kid from getting hit. Something, something right there. There's already a crosswalk, and I don't know if you could tell, but people don't do 50 miles an hour. Thankfully, it does sound like those two teens will be okay. A spokesperson from the school district says they're working with TxDOT to see what kind of physical changes they can do to make sure this doesn't happen again. Reporting in Cleveland, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.